It doesn't matter how good you are, every shot on a snooker table is missable, and even the best players in the world will miss straightforward shots. But what really counts is how fast you're able to recover and start playing well again after you make a mistake. So how do you start potting the balls again? But to improve your game, we first need to understand why it is you might be missing the shots in the first place. When you miss straightforward shots, people will often tell you it's because you're not trying hard enough, or that your cue action just simply isn't good enough, or possibly that you're just playing the shots too fast. But these are all incredibly simplistic answers, and snooker as a game is a lot more complicated. And although there is some truth to all of these, ultimately they're all wrong. And sometimes even the complete opposite is true. You can miss shots because you're not trying hard enough, but it's far more likely you're going to miss something because you're trying too hard, and that's all because of side spin. Side spin has many effects, but the major one is it causes the cue ball to deflect away from a straight line. So striking the round right hand edge of the cue ball causes it to go to the left. I'll share a video at the end that explains more, but for now all we need to know is the harder you hit it with side spin, the more it's going to deflect off line. And this is something that does often go wrong. And this usually happens when you're concerned about missing a shot. Like this black, for example, I'm a bit concerned that I might miss it and I've ended up missing it to the top cushion. But what happens if I try it again? So this time I'm aware of what happened on the previous shot so I can correct the mistake and get it right this time. But I've hit the same place again. So I start trying to hit the black thinner and thinner, but this doesn't seem to make a difference. So what exactly is happening with this shot? So let's see what's happening from my point of view. On a shot like this that I keep hitting thick, my body's naturally going to try and hit it thinner. And the way it's probably going to do that is without me even noticing, just as I complete the shot, I'm just going to push my cue over that way to try and hit it thinner. But with, as we've already seen with side spin, that's going to have the result of me pushing left hand side on the ball and hitting it thick. As you can see in slow motion, my subconscious attempt to knock the cue ball further to the left results in me playing the shot with left hand side, and the left hand side actually knocks the cue ball further to the right. This is a common problem that most players won't even be aware they're getting wrong, so let's look at how to deal with it. And something that will help is how you line up the shot. So if I imagine my cue is going to go straight through the cue ball, and make contact to where I'm aiming on the object ball. And I'm just trying to line that shot up and focus on where I'm going to strike the object ball. Then this gives me something else to concentrate on that's beneficial, and I'm going to be less likely to worry about whether or not the object ball is going to be going towards the pocket, something I'm going to have less control over. There's actually a lot more to lining a shot up than just that, and I'll share a video at the end where I explain how to do it properly. But what this now means is I'm aiming for the right place on the object ball where the, rather than thinking about where the object ball's going. So I'm no longer trying to cut the ball in as I play the shot. You can also use the top of the cue ball when you're stood back from the shot as a guide to where you're aiming. This should help you get into the right position on the shot if you line it up to where you're aiming on the object ball before you go to play it. Doing it in this way will really help you see where you're aiming. This is just a great way of making you feel confident that you're on the correct line for the shot. But our next tip does a lot more than just that. If you're in a good position, then that should make your next shot a lot more straightforward. But playing a positional shot well may also help you pot the ball on the shot you're currently playing. Because if you're concentrating on playing a positional shot, it makes it less likely that you're going to start overthinking a pot and start trying to steer it into the pocket like I explained earlier. Sometimes, especially when you're under pressure, it feels difficult to think too hard about the positional shot, but as we've seen, this may in fact help you pot the ball. It doesn't matter if you don't get exactly in position. But if it works, things are going to feel easier because the shots you'll be playing won't be as difficult as if you were out of position. This is a big reason why players commonly miss frame ball, 
all of a sudden I just need the yellow to win. I don't need to worry about position and I'm trying too hard to do one thing, pop the ball. And I start trying to steer it into the pocket and I end up missing it. So even if you're playing a really vital shot, you still want to be thinking about where the cue ball's going. But that's not the only reason you're likely to miss a shot. There are others. But we're going to look at how to deal with other reasons you might miss shots after we find Wojciech, who's from Bialystok, Poland, which is about there. A poor technique is probably the most common reason cited for a player missing a straightforward shot. But even if your cueing is hilariously bad, you're unlikely to miss the shot by very far. In fact, you could still pot any shot on the table. So what is bad cueing? Despite how bad it might feel at times, your technique is unlikely to cause you to miss a mid to close range shot like this by more than just rattling the ball in the jaws. If you're a long way away from a straightforward shot, then your cue action isn't going to be the problem. It's more likely to be something along the lines of aiming. The danger is you blame your cue action for getting this wrong when it's unlikely to have anything to do with it. The problem is, if you're continually messing around with your cue action, then you're unlikely to have a consistent technique. And you need a consistent technique if you want any chance of competing at the game. So if you notice you're doing things like playing shots with a small amount of unwanted side spin, don't worry too much about it, because this will correct itself over time with enough practice. Instead, just try to focus on keeping everything exactly the same for every single shot you play. So just keep your technique the same for a couple of weeks and see what a difference it actually makes. And you'll gain far more from consistent practice than changing your technique. But by far the biggest thing that can go wrong with your technique is when you're really not sure what to do. It's difficult to see exactly what you're doing when you're on the shot, so moving around could cause you to miss. It's far better to go down on the shot and not move at all. Because... You will be able to see what went wrong and you're going to be able to learn from that experience and hopefully get a lot closer. The problem is if you're moving around on the shot then you're not really going to understand what went wrong and that could result in you missing pots continuously. So pick a line when you're back from the shot and commit to it. You won't believe the difference this will make over a short space of time if you do this continuously. But there's more you can do to stop missing shots, and we're going to look at that after we find Mateus, who's from Manaus, Brazil. Which is there. Another reason often given for missing straightforward shots is the speed at which you played them. Maybe you were in too much of a hurry to play the shot and didn't take enough time. But this doesn't really describe what's actually going wrong. To start off with, you need to know exactly what you're going to play. This means having an idea of what you want to happen on the shot. If you're unsure or in two minds about what you want to happen, then things often go wrong. Although this is more likely to be the positional side of the shot. But on a harder shot, it could cause me to miss. Like here, for example, if I'm not sure if I'm going to play for the blue or go down for the bulk colours, when I get down to the table here, then I'm still thinking about what I'm doing and this could cause me to miss the pot. So before you go to the table, you want to make sure you know what the plan is. So here I think I'm going to try and pot that red and come back up for the blue. Now it doesn't really matter if this doesn't work. The important thing, I think, I think I've gone a little bit too far there, that's not too bad. The important thing is you've got a plan and you know how you're going to play the shot. Something else you need to make sure you do is get the basics right. It's surprising how much you can forget, especially if you're under pressure, even forgetting to line the shot up at all. Other problems include playing the shot too fast. This literally just means striking the cue ball before you're ready. And another problem, especially if you feel a little bit frightened of the shot, is not properly following through. It sounds simple, but it can all go wrong. However, you predominantly get these things wrong under pressure. And you'll find the more you practice, the less likely you are to forget something. Something else that will definitely help you when you're playing well is not to take any more time than you actually need to play the shot. This means when you've worked out what you're going to do, you just go to the shot and play it before you can second guess yourself. 
As I said at the very beginning, everybody makes mistakes that they're not happy with. But what's crucial is not the mistakes you make, but how quickly you recover from them. You play at your best when you're playing almost fully subconsciously, but you can't always do that. These tips are going to help you when you have to start thinking about things because they'll allow you to get back in your rhythm quicker. The video that explains how to aim correctly and the video about side spin are here, so have a look at those. And remember, don't just watch play and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel and visit the website. See you later.